dare you? <laughs> oh, he's eaten more! Hello everyone! Time for a hard day's work here at McDonald's! We're open! Hello Ultron! Hello! Please can I have a milkshake? Oh, can robots drink milkshakes? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's find out. OK then. One milkshake. A milkshake. OK. Um, uh, oh, we've got no milk. I know, I'll go and find some. Gotta find milk. Gotta find milk. Ooh, a cow. Hey, come back. I need milk. What is taking so long? I need milk! Your milkshake will be with you shortly. <sighs> Cow, please can I have some milk? Phew, thank you! Your milkshake is ready! Ta-da! Finally, thank you. Now let's see if I can drink milkshakes. Uh oh. Oh no, the milkshake broke him. Oh dear. Well, I know who to call. Hello, Iron Man. Hello there. Uh, yes, um, I seem to have caught Ultron for you. So you can come to McDonald's right away. Ooh, that was quick. Well done, Funling. How did you catch him? Uh, well, I was very brave and it was very complicated. Really? Because it looks like he drank a milkshake and malfunctioned. What? No. Well, maybe. OK, fine, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Don't worry. Thanks for catching him anyway. Wait, wait, you forgot the milkshake and the surprise inside. Ooh, surprise. Oh, nice. It's a little Iron Man. Thanks. No problem, Iron Man. Next, please. Hi there. Please may I have some fries? Okie dokie, one order of fries. Fries, got it. Ooh, yum yum. They're ready. Ta-da, fries. Hey, that chicken took some fries. Come back here, you. Oh, he's eaten more. Oh, sorry McQueen. That chicken ate all of your fries. <laughs> Don't worry, watching that funling chase the chicken more than made up for it. Ooh, don't forget the surprise inside. It's Finn McMissile. Thanks, funlings. Come back soon. <sighs> The chicken got away. Next, please. Hi, Funlin. A burger, please. OK. One burger. All right. Delicious. Oh, I must wash my hands. There, nice and clean. Uh-oh. Oh no, I stood on Thomas's burger. Eh, you might not notice. Your burger's ready. Ta-da! Hmm, it's a little frat. But oh well. Oh! Hmm. It's Shaggy, or as Scooby would say, it's Bragg. <laughs> Anything else, Thomas? Well, my mini-me would like a Happy Meal, please. Sure thing. One Happy Meal. 
coming up. Happy, happy, happy! Your happy meal's ready. Ta-da! Ooh! Mmm! <laughs> Patrick! Thanks, Funlings. Closing time. Phew! What a day! See you again soon. Gordon has a very important job on Sodor. He pulls the express. Make way, express coming through. But one day, the fundlings were up to no good. <sighs> I'm bored. Hmm, oh, look, there's Gordon. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Hey, Gordon! Sir Topham Hat wants to see you right away. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> what? Now? But I'm pulling the express. Um, he says to leave it behind. <laughs> yeah, nice one. <laughs> Very well. Oh, the indignity. And off he went. <laughs> we have the express. <laughs> Percy then arrived. Hi Funlings! Oh, what is Gordon's Express doing here? Um, I don't know. But I think he wants you to pull it. Me? Really? I'd love to! So he left his trucks behind and took the Express. <laughs> Make way! Express coming through! Meanwhile, Gordon found Sir Topham Hat. Ah, hello Gordon! You wanted to see me, sir? Did I? Hmm, I don't remember asking. Who told you that? The Funlings. Hmm, looks like we need to pay those Funlings a little visit. And he hopped into Gordon, and off they went. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Huh? Huh? <gasps> uh oh! It's Gordon! Quick! Hide! Funlings, we need to have a word. I think he can see us. Yes, I can see you. Why did you tell Gordon I wanted to see him? And where has his express gone? Um, Percy took it and left his trucks behind. Well, at least the express won't be late. I'm sorry, Gordon, but as Percy has the express, you'll have to take his trucks and do his job. Oh, the indignity. So Gordon coupled up to Percy's trucks, and off he went. He was very embarrassed. Now you two, no more messing about, understood? Ah, uh, yes sir. But this led to trouble the following day. James had broken down on a crossing. So his driver was warning everyone nearby not to come this way. Yeah, no problem. Bye! OK, no one is allowed past. James broke down. Unfortunately, Gordon wanted to pass through to pick up the express. Oh, hi Gordon. Sorry, James has broken down, so no one is allowed past. Really? Why should I believe you? and he steamed past them. Oh no! He's going to crash! And unfortunately, he did.
Gordon was covered in chocolate. Gordon, didn't the Funlings tell you not to come this way? They did, but I didn't believe them. So both engines were put back on the track. James was then fixed so he could get on with his journey. And Gordon returned to the Funlings. <gasps> Gordon, are you all right? Oh yes, it's just a bit of chocolate. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. And we're sorry for messing around yesterday too. No problem. Let's just agree to be completely honest with each other. Yeah, of course. Two Funlings were waiting at a station. Ooh, look! What? Ooh, a tunnel! Let's make some echoes! Hello! <laughs> but then they heard... <laughs> huh? It was Tom Moss. <laughs> but the Funlings didn't know who Tom Moss was. They just thought that it was Thomas. Hey Thomas, need a wash? <laughs> Tom saw this as the perfect opportunity to pull some pranks. So he pretended to be Thomas and asked the Funlings to do some favours for him. Uh, sure thing, Thomas. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Here we are. Thomas has asked if we can swap Percy's fruit for... some smelly fish. Oh, it stinks! And Percy didn't notice. Hmm, I think this fruit's gone bad. It stinks. <laughs> right, next, Thomas wants us to put this boulder on the track. Okay. Ugh. Phew. But James was just around the corner. Uh-oh! <gasps> oh no! He can't see! <laughs> and because James couldn't see where he was going, disaster struck. Sorry, Diesel. James, what are you doing? The Funlings put this boulder on the track so I couldn't see. <laughs> Phew! And finally, Thomas has asked us to drop these paint cans on himself. Hmm, strange request. Oh, here he comes. Covered in paint. Who did that? We did, Thomas. Why did you do that? Um, because you told us to. Duh. Thomas, someone replaced my fresh fruit with smelly fish. Yeah, that was us too. But why? Um, because Thomas told us to. Funlings, why did you put that boulder on the track? It caused me to crash. Um, because Thomas told us to. What? But I didn't tell you to do any of this. Sure you did. Don't you remember? It was earlier today. Um, in this tunnel. 
You were covered in moss. The engine suddenly realised what was going on. Funlings, that wasn't me. That was... <laughs> Tom Moss. <laughs> Someone get him. I'm on it. And James rushed after him. But he got away. Sorry guys. Don't worry James, we'll get him next time. We're really sorry guys. Don't worry, you didn't know. So the Funlings decided to clean Thomas up while he told them all about Tom Moss. There, good as new. Thanks guys. No problem. So Tom Moss had managed to prank everyone. <laughs> One day, the Joker has a big problem. I need to get rid of this garage, but who would be foolish enough to take it? Aha! Those Funlings! <laughs> Hello over there, Funlings! Huh? Would you like a present? Hmm, should we trust him? Yeah, he's giving us a present! I am giving you my garage! Ta-da! Why are you giving it away? I just don't want it anymore! But... It's old and broken, and it's got cracks in it. What was that? Uh, it was the garage saying, Why don't they want me? Ah, okay, but what's the catch? Oh, there's no catch, except there's a giant alligator living inside who won't come out. So, do we have a deal? Wait, what did you just say? Uh, I said the only catch is that it's painted blue and not purple and green. Oh, well that's not a problem, we can repaint. OK, deal, we'll take it. Meanwhile, nearby... Come on McQueen, you slow coach! <sighs> I'm no slow coach, phew! Oh dear, I've broken down. Oh dear, we need to get you to a garage. Hmm, oh, there's one. It's being run by two funlings. I'll check it out. What a nice clown. Huh? Hi guys, I didn't realise you ran a garage. We were given it by that lovely clown over there. Hello. Right, well, McQueen's broken. Can you fix him? Of course. So they had a look at him. Uh, guys, what's this tail? I don't know. Let's have a look at you. There, all good. We just need to quickly use these sparky things. Can you drive over there? Uh, OK. But McQueen drove over a red button. Ah! An alligator! Well, the Joker didn't say anything about that. What are we going to do? Don't worry guys, I know who we can call. And he called... Iron Man! So, you have an alligator problem, eh? I have an idea. I'll charge at it in my car. But... Oh no! It's trying to eat Iron Man! Phew! That was close. Sorry guys, I don't know how to get rid of it. I have an idea. 
and the three cars lined up beside the garage. Ready and heave! It's working, guys! They were pushing the whole garage. This is working, and I know where we can take it. Ah, that's better. Not an alligator in sight. <laughs> Run! Hello? Anyone there? What? Oh, they returned the whole garage! Oh. oh, I can't push it all by myself. Oh, I'm stuck with the alligator again. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No problem, Funlings. Thank you for fixing me. No problem, the Queen. So everyone was happy in the end. Well, except the Joker. Oh. Funlings, today it's your job to find surprise Kinder Eggs. Yay! Now, you'll have to look really hard for them, as they could be anywhere on the whole island. Take your time and off you go. Good luck! One. What? Already? How did you find one that quick? Uh, Funlings, that's not a surprise Kinder Egg. That's a crate of fish. Oh. Travel on Thomas and find a real Kinder Egg. The Funlings searched high and low until suddenly. Huh? Yes! Look over there! A surprise Kinder Egg! We found one! Excellent work, Funlings. Bring it in. Here it is. One surprise Kinder Egg. Ah, Funlings, that's not a surprise egg. That's a dinosaur egg. No, it's not. It's a Kinder Egg. No, it's a dinosaur egg. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Yes. Oh no, shall I call the rest of the Avengers? We're doomed! Ta-da! Told you! Huh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Good job, Funlings. Now you can go to the platform to open it. Yay!
All right, funlings, time to find another one. Wait, Thomas, stop! There's a surprise Kinder Egg. What? Where? Oh wait, no, it's just a tree. <laughs> Oh, look over there, though. Diesel 10 has a Kinder Egg. Oh, I have an idea. Greg, get ready. He's coming. Well done, Funlings. You got another one. Where did you find this one? Uh, on the track. Great. Now open it. Was lucky there was one in the tunnel. Magic. Yes, funlings, where did you get this one from? Magic tunnel. <laughs> okay, then go and open it. Yay. Thomas was teaching the Funlings how to count. OK, I'm the number one engine. Edward is the number two engine. Henry is the number three engine. Gordon is the number four engine. And James is the number five engine. Can you count to five? Um, sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, well done. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, okay. 
Now that you can do that, we have a special job for you to do tomorrow. We have an important visitor, and myself, Edward, Henry, Gordon and James are all helping out. So we need you to guard this set of points, and make sure only us five can go through. We don't want any unwanted visitors. But how will we remember all of those names? Hmm, well, only let the engines with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 through, OK? Yeah, OK. All right, I'll see you tomorrow then. But something terrible happened overnight. <laughs> the next morning, the engines were raring to go. But they were all missing something. Their numbers! But they hadn't realised, making the Funling's job much harder. Edward tried to go through first. Hello there, I'm Edward, and I'm helping out with the important visitor. Hmm. Only let the engines with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 through. Hmm. Um, sorry. You can't come through. Only the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 trains are allowed through. But I'm the number 2 engine. No you're not. You don't have any number. Oh no! My number's missing. I've got to go and find it. And he rushed off. Hehe, <laughs> good job. Henry tried next. Hello, I'm here to help the visitor. No, you're not getting through. You have no number. What? But I'm the number three engine. No, you're not. Oh, where's my number gone? And then James tried getting through. Hello, Funlings. You can't come through. You don't have a number either. What? Oh, this is a problem. And he raced off to find Thomas. Thomas, our numbers have been stolen and the Funlings aren't letting anyone through because they don't believe us. Oh no, I'll go and talk to them. Huh? Guys, our numbers were stolen last night. You can let these engines through. What? Stolen? Oh no! Uh, wait a minute. Thomas is the number one engine, but you don't have a number. You're not really Thomas, are you? What? No, my number was stolen too. Diesel 10 then arrived. Huh? Hello, I'm here to help. Hmm. Ah, you're fine. You're the number three engine. What? No, he's Diesel 10. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, Diesel 3. Where did you get that number from, Diesel 10? Uh, it was in a tunnel by the crossing. So Thomas raced off to get the other numbers. Ah, I see them. But I also see... <laughs> Tom Moss. <laughs> he had the rest of the numbers. Oh no you don't, and Thomas chased him. <laughs> Tom eventually let go, and ran back to his tunnel. <laughs> Thomas had recovered everyone's numbers. so they could all get on with helping the important visitor. And it was a huge success. Hi I'm Dave and thanks for watching my video. Please check out these other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.